just wanted to um, show you this, a Duracell jump starter, uh, the 1100 amps. I uh, got this from Halfords. Um, so I just wanted to, to show you. So I'm not a mechanic firstly, so don't ask me any kind of technical questions. But the reason I got this was a friend visited and he's actually got a new Fiat 500X and he's having problems starting it already. So in the meantime, until he can get it into the dealer, he needs something that he can jumpstart himself. Because he, he mentioned quite a few times he was asking people uh, if they could just get him jumped just to be able to get the car started so he said look i just need something where i can be self-sufficient i can sort my own kind of drama out if need to if need be just until he obviously gets gets the repair done so he bought this um and i got one myself so everything that you get in the box is kind of just laid here so obviously the box the manual, a few leaflets, a few warning leaflets, the actual gadget itself there, and a little case it comes in. Obviously, we've got this from Halfords and the obviously the manual. So there's loads of these different type of things on the market. I looked at easily about 10. But the reason why we bought this as well as my, my friend bought this was mainly because 18-month warranty. Um it's got a safe jump technology which i'll kind of explain in a moment when we looked at the shelves the others were like 500 600 amps this stood out at being 1100 so whether that was like a perfect market ploy i don't know this number seemed high so we're, we were on our just assuming the higher the number the better um and the price was good um and also because which really stood out it was kind of saying somewhere on the box if i can just find it that once it's charged once one charge is good for 40 jump starts and also you it holds its charge for a year so basically you can charge this thing chuck it in your boot and know in theory you're good for one year if ever you need it it's not something where every week you're thinking oh i better charge it up every month i better charge it up charge it up chuck it in your car just in case you need it so going through the box and some of the other features too is it saying it's ip65 waterproof construction for outdoor use it's got an ultra bright led work light which i'll show you in a moment with an sos mode um it charges cell phones and tablets too because it's got usb you can just plug in your usb c cord and charge your phone obviously if you did that you need to recharge it up again obviously don't just assume once you've done that it's still going to maintain the, the 40 potential 40 jump starts obviously you know it's not you're gonna have to charge it up but you've still got that feature of charging your gadgets if need if need be as I previously mentioned, 18 months warranty does stand out. Um, the safe jump side of things. So let's take a quick look at that. So that's kind of more reassurance for you as a user. You as the user, sorry. So it's spark proof proof when you put obviously the clamps onto the battery terminal, it's not going to spark. Um, it's got an over temperature protection, reverse polarity protection. Um, obviously your safety certified whatever that means I don't know low voltage protection and also reverse current protection so if if you kind of put them on the wrong way so you put the positive on the negative or the negative on the positive you mess up it's not going to work I believe it just bleeps at you to tell you actually do you know what check your connections again i think you've made a mistake so it is quite safe for the car you're not going to just you're not going to destroy any really ex uh, expensive circuits or con or control modules or anything like that so it's, it's quite safe um so yeah that that was one of the big features of it and obviously um like i pointed out when we looked in the shop a lot were like 500 600 amps this was showing peak current peak current at 1100 amps so i'll run through everything that's in the box uh, and then you can kind of make your own self-informed decision really so it charges up by this very simple little uh, usb lead um 
I'm not sure if that's USB A or B. Obviously, it's not USB C. I think it's USB A. I, I can't quite remember. But I'm surprised it just charges up by that. Actually, it seems like something you charge a dash cam cam up with. But it does charge within four hours. So hey, if that works, that works. As briefly shown before, you get a nice little pouch so you can throw everything in there, chuck it in the boot of the car, or chuck it in your glove box. Away you go. So looking at the device itself, you've got two simple buttons. How's my battery looking? Then you obviously got 25, 50, 75, 100. Nice and simple. And then you've got the light. So you press it once. Boom. Super bright. Press it again. Goes off. If you press it quite quickly, you can dull the light down. And I think there is an SOS mode, but I'm not quite sure on. Maybe press it twice. Oh, there you go. SOS mode. So it will flash SOS brightly into the sky if need be. But as you can see, that is a super bright light. So two simple buttons, battery and light. And at the top is very simply um, a really quite strong rubbery grip for pulling everything out. And this is where you're going to see the port to charge it up. The USB so you can charge your cell phones and such and your gadgets. And then this is where it all works in terms of the positive and the negative for uh, using on your car. And as you can see, circle and then a flat edge. So you cannot go wrong in respect of, of plugging in the two positive and negative, or positive and negative, I should say, because they obviously match in terms of the socket. So you, you really can't go wrong, to be honest with you. Um, it's real basic stuff. What I did find getting that into that to begin with was a little bit stiff maybe that might loosen up in time but it did take some careful sort of getting everything to go mainly that middle that middle one there that was a bit stiff to begin with but it was doable so once that is in that's what it looks like and it's flashing green to tell me i'm good to go and everything that you need to know in terms of the lights and what the lights mean are all within the manual. But they're also on this label that is really stuck on well. This isn't kind of just a label that comes off easily. It's really on there. And that label, again, just repeats what the manual say, states in terms of flashing green means it's ready what a solid green would mean what a beleeping would mean are you you've set it up wrong um or once a car's charged it would bleep at you to say look i'm completed it's now um needs to be taken off from the battery so in that ready state you would literally just check your battery Put it on the positive, put it on the negative, then try and start your car. And hopefully this is going to come to your rescue, providing, you know, the issue with your car is a flat battery. It's not something electronic like an immobilizer issue or a circuit issue, fuse issue, electronic issue, starter motor issue. This is to recover you know, it recover you in terms of a flat battery, basically. You know, you got a flat battery, you need to jump start. This is a new way of doing it. Instead of your mate driving up a car next to your car and he puts a, you know, wire on his car and you, that puts it on your car and, you know, he cranks his car and you try and start your car. None of that, none of that. You just need this and you're good to go. The boot of the car, you'll get yourself started. So just by quickly yanking that out, the light's gone off. Obviously, no actions happened within the device. So it's still showing the four solid um, white lights, 100%. So I'm good to pretty much package this every 
packages up, put everything into the nice little Duracell bag, throw it into the boot of the car, and hopefully, you know, it's good to go. If ever one day I do have a problem starting my car, this is going to be my rescue. Uh, but like I said, my friend had the issue with um, his new Fiat 500X, where he think he's got some sort of battery drain problem on it. So he has needed to be jump started three or four times. And he has had to go to people to say, listen, can you, you know, help me out? Can you jump start me? Or he's had to film recovery and never used, obviously, a device similar to this. So he's got this in his boot and he's basically good to go. Uh, if ever there's a problem, he can sort of, I guess, help himself um, is, is, is what, you know, what it's all about. It's just being self-sufficient. Um, if you maybe don't have recovery and you just got a bit of a low battery and you want to jump start yourself every now and then, this is definitely something to buy. Price wise, eighty nine ninety five. Um, got it from Halfords next day delivery. You can buy it off the shelf if you want to. There's loads of products in Halfords. Um, if you're a motor mechanic, obviously you know that. If you're not a motor mechanic like me and you haven't got a clue then obviously you're going to see loads of different brands and non-brands. We went for this, like I say, mainly because there were so many plus points that it's kind of screaming out um, on the box and the price was just the same as, as the others. Um, so it, to me, it was just pretty much a no-brainer. So the model number there is a DRLJS 1100B. It's good for up to six litre petrols, in theory, and three litre di diesels. So that's quite big. I mean, I've got a little 1.2, 1.2, so I'm pretty much sure, I'm pretty sure it can handle it. But yeah, another big selling point, like I previously said, once it's charged, it's good for a year. You can throw it in the boot of the car and you're covered for up to 40 starts. Um, obviously, you know, you might want to take it out every now and then, test it, charge it. But yeah, a lot of lot of plus points with this product. So whether that's just great marketing, which it probably is, um, I don't know. Might have loads of people who are really clued up on these type of products come on and say it's rubbish. Uh, you're better off with this product. You're better off with that brand, whatever. But quality wise, yeah, I think it seems pretty decent. Big solid chunky rubber there. Nice solid grips they sound like they could they sound like they could take a fair punching but big strong grips um a bit of quality there no in the wiring it certainly feels solid um well made so yeah there we have it uh the duracell um jump starter with usb charging uh and also great for charging your cell phones if needed. So they go $89.95 from Halfords. Um, didn't see it on Amazon. Mainly, mainly just Halfords. Um, but yeah, charge it up. It takes four hours to charge it up. Put it in your car. Nice little case. And it's there for emergencies. Just in case. How many people buy these for just in case? Because do you know what? Like my mate said, his car's broken down three times, so I think I'll have one for just in case. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Short and sweet. Um, like and subscribe. Appreciate your time as always. Take care.